Hello, we're back. Back in my home ground. If you watched last week's video, you'll understand why, because I've been now to Tembi. Matt's back tonight, and hopefully he's gonna lose his virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Not his anal virginity. He lost that a long time ago. Um, yeah, his hammock virginity. Hopefully he's gonna lose that tonight and sleep in the hammock. I've treated him. I'll give him my uh, my go-to hammock, shall we say. I want him to have a decent night's sleep, so yeah. Where are we? Well, I've done a camp here before, so you may or may not recognise it. There's loads of deer around. I you can see them or not. Appreciate not doing much filming here, but I'm just trying to get set up before the rain comes. Yeah, and then peg it out like an A-frame. Just trying to get set out because it is due to rain a little bit. So that's getting this tarp up. Just getting mine up. Cheers. That's it then, that's set up. That's me. I'm in the husk. Husk hammock again. Summer sleeping bag. And I've got the DD under blanket tonight. And the tarp. Oh, sugar. Just thought I'd do things properly tonight. So Matt, Basher, the army bivy, uh, Basher thing. Uh, yeah, he's got my knapsack hammock uh, with the, the bug nap and then the OEX Leviathan, whatever you call it, sleeping bag. This is our little area. What's the tea, Matthew? Uh, we've got garlic, herb, uh, garlic and herb chicken kebabs. And Be grateful you're not sleeping next to him, Claire, tonight. Pork medallions. And pork medallions. What have I got? What have I got? Well, if you saw me last video, I struggled to cook a bacon butty. We're going again. Got bacon. Oh shit, spilt my beer. And for pudding, caramelised biscuit cheesecake. This is our playground. So if you are new around here, this is my usual playground. I was uh, at the cliffs last week. Well, the coast, should I say, last week. And here, see the herd of, uh, call them a herd? Herd of deer, whatever you call them. Yeah. Anyway, that's all. So, not, if you watched last week's video, you'd have seen it took me an hour and 15 minutes to make two of these. The difference it makes with no wind, this has just took oh, seven minutes. Cheers. Right, time is it now? Time is it now? It's ten past eight. Not gonna lie, temperature's dropping. It's due to drop down to about nine degrees tonight. It was due to rain, but that's now a change, so it's not due to rain anymore. Hence, we bought the tarps. Uh, we've had dinner. We've had our dinner. Just going to have a little wander around. Come back and have the cheesecake. Yes, before I forget, I'm in the husk hammock tonight. So, second, second night I've slept in that one. Uh, there's a video on the channel I did a few weeks ago sleeping that one. Um, I've got two of them hammocks. One's at home, brand new, brand spanking new in the back, never opened. Uh, I'm giving one away, well, I'm giving it away. 
um, if we reach 500 subscribers by August. We're about 130 away, 135 away I think it is. So do me a favour. I'm only asking you, you know, if we get there, sooner we get there, sooner we give the hammock away. Cheers. Hey. Don't worry, I've got a volcano like, <laughs> like the sword in the stone. Any ideas? No. Any ideas? It's not even like they've had a fire or anything, is it? Just thought you'd have to have your trail cam off, wouldn't you? Yeah, they sort of caught them last time, to be fair. Someone's been here before. Unless the deer have done this. I want to sleep under that one, would you? Yo, I know you probably can't see me to be fair, because it's really dark in here now. Time's it, Matthew. It's quarter to ten. I haven't done much recording because we've just had a visitor. Dave's been to visit us. But, just scoffed town to these bad boys. You even see them? You've seen them earlier on. Scoffed them down. Matt's on his... Mocha. Mocha? Mocha? With... Yeah, Mocha. Oh yeah, with your whiskey? Yeah. Matt's on his... Drop, drop a whiskey. Drop a whiskey in his Mocha. This is Matt's first time getting into a hammock. Well, it's not actually sleeping in a hammock. But, as I've told him, it's not the easiest thing to do get into your sleeping bag. But once you're in, you know game changer. You know something's going to happen, don't you? Well, hopefully. I'm going in myself. See you in the morning. I know something though, I keep standing and keep hitting that stump. There's a stump there. And I keep hitting it. Oh, that's bright. Right, time is now. Oh my god, I look grey there. Time is now 10 past 10. I'm laying the hammock, obviously. I'm just gonna put a podcast on and uh, just drift off. See you in the morning. Morning. Five to six. <sighs> Dad, I'm freezing. Again, cold. What's going on? I've got a feeling that the. Yeah, the underquilt. Eh? Well, the underquilt's not really kept me very warm. Was you cold last night? I was, I've been cold for the last two hours, most. <laughs> Hello. How'd you get on? So good. Is it a game changer? Uh, Other than being cold? 50-50. Oh. So there is the hammock, this particular one, a couple of carabiners, it's absolutely huge, and, uh, and yeah, from a company called Husk, and like I say I've got another one of these to, uh, to give away, if I reach 500 subscribers by August, I'm going to give me one of these away, so yeah please make sure you do, hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah. Sit then. 
one final message from me. Well, camp's all tidy. So, I mean, that is a 70 litre sack, 70 litre bag. How the hell do I get it smaller? You know, this is why I don't normally bring the tarp and the underquilt if I don't need it. I definitely didn't need the tarp last night, but the underquilt was definitely required, although I was still cold. Any final thoughts on you, Matthew? Would you do a hammock camp again? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Not in the winter, though. Only summer. Yeah. Mm. There you go. We could have another convertee. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, really appreciate it. And uh, see you next week. Cheers.